Welcome back everyone to a Villainy Cobra Kai Season 3 Watch Party. One of the biggest praises heaped on this show from the very beginning is the quality of the writing. And with good reason, it is very good. The problem for someone like me comes from the fact that good writing then becomes the evidence and explanation for every single fan theory imaginable. This is something I first noticed with Harry Potter. There were all sorts of fan theories that always began with J.K. Rowling as a smart writer. Likewise, we are slowly getting the same in Cobra Kai. It plays out as A, because the writers were so clever, then cockamamie theory B must be true. It keeps going on and on so much to the point where you just want to build a wall around these people just to protect your sanity. I spent over a year dealing with the biggest one. Sorry. <sighs> With a Y. Is proof absolute that she is the daughter of Sally with an I. The explanation always offered was the writers are smart so they didn't drop that clue in for nothing. Well yes, the writers are smart, but no, that was a simple homage or callback, not some major plot clue. And if you need to see more on that theory, then please click that card in the corner. That'll clear it all up. I bring this up because after a year arguing against people that the writing isn't always some super clever way of dropping clues, I want to show an example where I am certain it is. We do not train to be merciful here. Mercy is for the weak. Here on the street, in competition, a man confronts you, he is the enemy. An enemy deserves no mercy. What this is, is of course, Kreese's iconic line. It really defines him and Cobra Kai. It was also repeated verbatim by Johnny when he first instructed Miguel. We do not train to be merciful here. Mercy is for the weak. Here, on the street, in competition, a man confronts you. He is the enemy. An enemy deserves no mercy. What is the problem, Mr. Diaz? No problem, Sensei. You, you punch me. I have asthma, so... The key word you and I will discuss is enemy. It's important to understand this as it reveals the deep Cobra Kai mindset. Cobra Kai as conceived and taught by Kreese and then Johnny doesn't just view the other person as the other fighter, the competition or your opponent. No, that person is an enemy. A very specific designation that brings the mindset to the extreme. A sparring partner is one thing but an enemy must be destroyed. In similar fashion, thinking of the other person as an enemy is what allows the Cobra Kai creed of strike first, strike hard, and no mercy. You strike hard and show no mercy to your enemy, not your friend. So to be full Cobra Kai, you must think of whoever you're fighting as your enemy. The writing very clearly shows this in the dialogue as the various Cobra Kai students begin to think of their opponents as enemies. You have to strike first. You don't wait for the enemy to attack. This shows Miguel fully embracing the Cobra Kai philosophy, and it was too much for Sam. Indeed, that was much of the emotional climax of season one, as Miguel fully embraced the Cobra Kai way, and even seemed to be reenacting some of its less desirable parts. And this isn't only seen in Miguel. Perhaps the best example is in Hawk. Notice how at the end of episode 204, the moment of truth. What about if your opponent attacks you from behind? Now look a little later. After he's changed his hair color and tattoo and fully embraced the Cobra Kai way. They're the enemy. I had to put them in their place. Now this is very intentional writing. Hawk has gone from talking about an opponent to calling them the enemy. This is characterization. I talked about this before in one of the Sam videos, but it means the writers are revealing the character through dialogue. He's a fucking nerd. Through the dialogue, we see how Hawk has progressed deeper into Cobra Kai. We see how Miguel has done the same. Also notice Kreese. As the Cobra Kai Sensei Emeritus, he always refers to the enemy. Like when he answered Hawk's question. The key to this move is making your enemy think you are retreating. But just as they let their guard down, that's when you strike the hardest. Also, when he calmly instructed Tori on what to do if some bitch-ass girl ever kisses your boyfriend. You show your enemy no mercy. Whoever knew that would be Kreese's greatest lesson. If some bitch-ass girl kisses your boyfriend, you show her no mercy. Tori took it to heart. Anyway, the key difference is recognizing when a line is a simple homage. With a Y. And characterization. The enemy? Do you even hear yourself? 
I don't even know who you are anymore. This is deliberate word choice. It moves the plot forward while giving us information and personality about the character. By focusing on which characters use it and which do not, you can learn where they are on the spectrum. I don't know what that is, but get off of Pronto, all right? Um, not that spectrum, but I do mean the Cobra Kai spectrum. It's like a funnel. As characters get deeper into Cobra Kai, they show the characteristics more. From language... To the enemy. To direct actions... No mercy. <sighs> Obviously, Miguel tried to pull himself up a little bit to avoid the Cobra Kai deaths. Except it didn't work out, and most of the rest of the class ended up going even deeper. So this is where Season 2 ended. Now, is there anything we can glean from this use of the word enemy? Anything we can perhaps use to learn about Season 3? My ex-husband had many enemies. Well, that's interesting. Her ex-husband, Miguel's father, had many enemies. Using the word enemy here feels very deliberate. First off, this is coming from Carmen, who's not even in Cobra Kai. That's important because where Kreis will say any man who confronts him here or on the street is an enemy, Carmen is more likely to reserve the word for true, serious, life-threatening opponents. A real enemy. This is what I want to focus on. She says her ex-husband had many enemies. She also tells Johnny that the only way to end the rivalry is to be the bigger man. Otherwise, These things don't end well. Trust me. I've seen it with my own eyes. Let's consider what she's saying here. Her ex-husband had many rivalries like Johnny has with Daniel, except they were more than rivalries. They were enemies. Also, it doesn't end well. She claims she's seen that with her own eyes, but what does that mean? You imagine there was a fight? It was brutal. Maybe even someone got killed. You realize her ex-husband is the one who did it, and that would make him a very bad man. I had to get far away from him. Now you can reason this wasn't an out of the blue encounter. The way Carmen consoles Johnny here, it makes it seem like her experience with her ex was that it was building and building before the fight. She could probably see it on his face. The growing hatred? Notice how she reacted to Miguel's angry face. I wasn't sure I liked what I saw. He had this look on his face. You think maybe she was seeing the worst side of Miguel's father in Miguel during that moment? Like maybe how his father looked right before he did something really bad? You can see why Carmen would want to get away. What if friends of the enemy who was killed wanted revenge? They would come for her and Miguel to get at him. They were in danger. In fact, it's been difficult for him. We've had to move around a lot. It almost sounds like they were moving around to avoid his enemies. This is important. I believe Roger, played by Rick Perez, is Miguel's father and will show up in season 3. What's important to understand, however, is Roger is not the enemy or the bad guy, at least not in any direct way. Roger may even be a good father. He would be very concerned about Miguel and his recovery. The problem is, his enemies could learn where he is and why, and when they do, they will come looking for him. Maybe not even to get him, but to get his son. Because the best way to get revenge would be to hurt someone he cares about. This is your setting for a serious final fight. Not something against Miguel's father, but with him. His past catches up with him. His enemies track him to the valley and target his family. I'll talk more about this fight later, but for now, just keep focus on the major clue word. My ex-husband had many enemies. Enemy. Because this is what Chris has been teaching us to confront for over 30 years. And when these enemies show up, well... Show your enemy no mercy. You know it's gonna be good. Be sure to like the video if you got some enemies of your own out there. Subscribe to the channel. You're gonna want to get in for the best predictions and analysis for when Season 3 comes. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and I'll see you at the next watch party. Mercy is for the weak. We do not train to be merciful here. A man face you, he is enemy. Enemy deserve no mercy. Oh.